but still cool to look at, Wes. Yep. And today it was cool outside. The temperatures, we wrap up the month and say goodbye to the ninth month of the year. October starts tomorrow. Today felt pretty good with a high of 72. But looking back at the whole month, when this time of year our average high is 77, we had 20 days that were below average and only 10 above average. So a lot more cool temperatures than warm ones. But the month started warm. Our hottest day in September was 93 back on the 3rd. Our coolest morning was 44 just a week and a half ago. And we had around 5 inches of rain. That brings us for the whole year to almost 8 inches above average. And it was a strange month in the weather world because we had so many different weather events. We had highs in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. The most common occurrence was 80s. We had 13 of those days. And tomorrow, the first day of October, starts off chilly. 53 degrees is how we'll start. But it will be a warmer afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, no rain during the day, as we'll jump up to 71 by lunchtime, on our way to a high of 78. Next cold front comes through late tomorrow night. We'll see a few clouds and maybe a sprinkle of rain. That's about it. So this next cold front will not bring anything significant like the one last night did in the rain department. And we'll wrap up the month of super sunsets with this gym from the Pacific Ocean. We go to the West Coast. Nicole was out there at Laguna Beach last week. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. Here's the sad thing about this picture, if there is anything, and that is what I always add to it. Our sun is now setting before 7 p.m. Remember, our days continue to get shorter and shorter. So the next question is, Wes, when do we change the clocks? Well, that's a month away. We do that on November 1st. That's when we go back to standard time. So enjoy that. Again, I'll put that on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. So cold front number one is now history. Cold front number two moving into Kentucky tonight. Not a lot of rain with it. That's why we only have a few clouds and a sprinkle tomorrow night. But ahead of it, during the day, we'll get a little bit warmer. Then Thursday night into Friday, the front races through. We get another blast of cooler air. You'll feel that on Friday, along with plenty of sunshine, as high pressure takes over Friday and most of our weekend. Saturday, I love. Most of Sunday looks great. However, Sunday night, there's going to be a developing area of low pressure. It's a weak one. It'll be a rainmaker Sunday night into Monday for the coast. Not a big rainmaker, but a few scattered showers. And some of those could sneak in here Sunday night. Your weekend's not a washout. And again, it's just a Sunday night event. We'll keep an eye on it as developing areas of low pressure tend to kind of have a mind of their own. So we'll watch that while we enjoy tomorrow. A warmer afternoon that'll send us up to 80 in Fayetteville. Again, a sprinkle tomorrow night, otherwise a dry day. And we'll top out at 78 in Wilson. Here in the Triangle, about 77 or 78. Several degrees warmer than today. But our mornings stay cool. This morning it was 53. We'll be there again tomorrow morning. Still in the 50s Friday morning. And then after that next cold front, we've got 40s by Saturday morning. So October begins warm around 80 degrees. But then the cool weather returns with highs in the 60s Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's that small chance of rain Sunday night. We'll keep an eye on that area of low pressure, nothing to worry about. Otherwise, your exclusive 10-day forecast keeps highs in the 70s with mostly dry weather most of next week.